Hey everybody, this is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Monday, January 8th, 2018, and we are here with number 630 going on the arcade floor with today's Monday Mystery Game. Last week's Monday Mystery Game, the first game of the new year, was Up and Down, released by Bally Midway and Sega. And there was one man who walked away with the top score on that, and that is former Gamer of the Year, James White. Congratulations to him, James. Awesome job. To you goes one of the Galloping Ghost Arcade coins. Congratulations. What number is that for you? Uh, Coin-wise, 15. 15. That's crazy. Saving up for the... Lifetime membership. That is awesome, James. We appreciate that. Keep collecting those coins. We're going to be doing... I'm going to try to get some of those coins back away from you pretty soon with another event. And it's going to be a big one. And I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to hold on to all those coins. I think you're going to have to give some up. Um, fat chance. Well, we'll see. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough thing to say because I know what entices you, James. I know what drives you. We shall see if I can entice some coins away from you at some point. But try and hold on to them because I like people trying to think they can do things like that. So it'll be very interesting. We shall see. We shall see. James White! All right, thank you everybody who's come out and thank you everybody for watching today's Monday Mystery Game. We are very anxious for this one, number 630. Again, everybody's here. Definitely hope everybody enjoys it. Let's summon forth former Gamer of the Year, Pete Hahn, to help me with today's unveiling. Pete, how are you? Pretty good. Awesome. Well, I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm pretty happy that we got it. Because it is a yet another rare one. I heard it was extremely rare. It is. It popped up not too long ago, and it is here now. So without any further ado, hold on, let's get the, uh, make sure it's going to come off when we do this. Ready? Today's Monday Mystery Game is no other than Galaxy Ranger. James White getting in front of my camera again. He's a madman. It's the enthusiasm. It's the excitement. James White. <laughs> Today's Monday Mystery Game is none other than Galaxy Ranger, classic laser disc game released from Bally Midway and Sega. Released in 1983, ours is in a beautiful original dedicated cabinet with full side art, full control over overlay panel, original marquee, original bezel glass. Everything on this is absolutely beautiful. This looks to me like a home use only cabinet. Just absolutely in immaculate condition. Monitor is perfect. This game was originally a Laserdisc title uh, based on footage from the, ser uh, the show uh, Message uh, from Space from Toei. It was done, done in 1979. So laser disc game, they use the video footage and you fly a ship similar to how Mach 3 was run and uh, Us vs. Them is definitely a unique game. I think uh, the Pete Gorses, the Jamie Tibbets, the Matt Walters, the James Whites, Mossy Zagopians will enjoy this one. It shall be an interesting fight. Let's bring up, I don't even know where James, J James must, he's combusted somewhere. Let's have former game of the year, Pete Gores. Better in there. So here we go, Pete Gores. Are you familiar with Galaxy Ranger? Uh, unfortunately, no. Well, I believe I've seen you on some Us versus Them. I've seen you on some Mach Three. I think you'll do just fine. Wait do you see, there's a lot of amazing visual effects, and when you're thinking 1983, the explosions first off are big. There are some robust explosions. This is on the Dexter hardware. We, we have the original Laserdisc is in there with the Laserdisc player. Uh, the player works, but uh, the Dexters are so good. And for those that don't know, we are very... Uh, 
It's important to us that everything run on original hardware. Laserdisc has been about the only thing that has been difficult for us. Uh, we've got just under a dozen Laserdisc games. <laughs> And uh, we've had most of our players down at some point, and they are so difficult to fix, we've opted to go with the Dexter hardware. The Dexter only replaces the media, just the Laserdisc has changed. It runs on all original boards. The guys over at Dexter, <laughs> it, is, it is a one and done. It's very odd how the uh, scoring mechanic works. If you get to the time extended, that's the extent of it. So for those just joining us, today's Money Mystery Game is Galaxy Ranger, released here in the States by Bally Midway, designed by Sega. Ours is an original dedicated cabinet. This was re released alongside Astron Belt, which also used the same footage from the uh, 1979 uh, movie Message from Space. All the footage done with, on uh, miniatures. Yeah, the tank. The tank Boom. Oh, Boom. No, no. Two, seven, seven. no he gets to keep going because he didn't hit the extended time yet. It is Spy Hunter-esque scoring where they give you the first little bit. And then once things get going, things get going. If you know what I mean. The explosions. Like, how are they doing that in 1983? Look at those backgrounds. Miniatures. All done with miniatures. If you're a fan of Interstellar, you're a fan of Mach 3, you're a fan of Us versus Them, you're a fan of looking at solar eclipses. <laughs> oh! Jamie Tibbetts, our gamer of the year. James still has made it back out of the bathroom. Jamie, have you have you heard of Galaxy Ranger? <laughs> no. No. The Laserdisc Fantasy. <laughs> Okay, let's give you some credits. The game right here gets no credits. Here he goes, Jamie Tibbetts with his inaugural playthrough on Galaxy Ranger, the Bally Midway Sega. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> the explosions are big. Thirteen seconds left in the timer. If he gets the extended st oh, oh, he's all right. That's all right. That's all right. They'll keep him going. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Extended play. Now things get serious. He's got to take down some of these planes. Get some big points. Oh. Sixty-eight ninety. I love the rotating game over screen. Again, we are so happy about this getting this cabinet. The side art on it is absolutely phenomenal. We literally, before we brought this over today, scanned the, all the artwork in uh, by uh, Brandon Diaz was over there working on the artwork, uh, meticulously bringing it in, color matching everything on it. For our uh, Galloping Ghost reproductions, we'll be able to, we've preserved all the artwork on this game. We're going to be doing the uh, control panel and bezel and marquee next, but the side art is done. So all of this artwork will be available at Galloping Ghost reproductions.
I know there's not many of these cabinets out there, but if you want one to look as good as new, getting a scan of this artwork printed out by Galloping Ghost Reproductions, you can go check us out at Galloping Ghost Reproductions on Facebook. If you want to order a set this artwork, we'll have it uh, showcased tomorrow. We had Pete Gores going again. Oh! 30, 38, 39, 100 points. Keeps these random explosions are too random. <laughs> That's the show, showing the power of the laser disc. You can see those backgrounds, those great, fantastic looking uh, solar spirals going on, and just so unique. You couldn't do this unless you had a laser disc back in 1983. Uh oh, you're going in. Oh, oh, oh. this is the power up. <laughs> James White gearing up. Oh, still, oh, 9970, game over. P. Gores, what do you think of the Galaxy Ranger so far? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. James White, are you familiar with Galaxy Ranger? I played a very long time ago at Aladdin's Castle, not Aladdin's Castle in uh, Oak, no, Chicago Ridge. So you know the game? I played a few times a long time ago. And this is like, um, Ast remember Astro and Bill? I never played Astro and Bill, but I played this. This was the sister game to Astro and Bill, Galaxy Ranger. And same cabinet, very similar, also on Laserdisc, same hardware, but this is Galaxy Ranger. James, are you going to want to CC this on your first playthrough? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, three extra coins if you want to CC this. I, I, I don't know that for a fact. I mean, I, I mean, hold your horses. <laughs> I got my coin in my pocket right here. Some people say those coins are good luck. I don't know. We'll see. James White. Maybe. James White today playing our Monday mystery game of the day, Galaxy Ranger, released here in the States by Bally Midway, designed by Sega back in 1983. Yeah, we're going to cut the Facebook recording. Uh, if you want to keep in, keep tuning into our uh, live stream here today, jump over to our uh, twitch.tv slash Galloping Ghost Arcade stream. Uh, go over there. We're going to be continuing to stream Galaxy Ranger uh, for quite a while today. Uh, again, last time today's Monday Mystery Game is Galaxy Ranger, released in 1983 by Bally Midway here in the U.S., designed by Sega. Based on footage from uh, Message from Space, which was released in 1975, 73, no, 1979 by Toei. They also used that footage for Astron Belt. Our cabinet is it's an original dedicated cabinet in absolutely amazing condition. Uh, we got this uh, not too long ago, and the uh, cabinet is being preserved by Galloping Ghost Reproductions. So check it out tomorrow. If you tune into Facebook, go to uh, Galloping Ghost Reproductions. Like that page. We're going to be posting about uh, the uh, process of preserving this amazing artwork. And we'll be showing pictures tomorrow of the cabinet. And uh, you can check it out there on our Facebook page. So thanks, everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade. And we hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thanks, everybody.